Oh, hey. So listen, I don't like to cook, all right? In here, I've got catfish fillets that they steamed for me at Publix. So I'm gonna, I've got them out and I'm gonna weigh them out and put them into containers and freeze them. And over here, I've got portobello mushroom caps in the broiler. And over here, I've got two pounds of ground turkey that I'm cooking up. And all this stuff, well, the portobello mushrooms, let me turn this back around. The portobello mushrooms I'm going to make into pizzas. <clears throat> They're actually very meaty. They have a good firm texture and consistency to them. So it's almost like you're eating a piece of meat. What I'm going to do, oh, Alexa, turn off the timer. <laughs> Alexa's helping me cook so that I get everything done. Let's see, these mushrooms are not done yet. Um, so uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, the portobello mushrooms. So what I do is I put some um, tomato sauce in them. Actually, what I use, oh, let me get this out of here, back in the fridge, is Rouse. Um, it's the marinara sauce, or sometimes I get the pizza sauce. It is 80 calories for half a cup. So I'll put a quarter of a cup in each mushroom cap, and then I will cover it with about four ounces of uh, low-fat mozzarella. And then I'll bake it, you know, to melt the cheese. And then I can wrap them up separately and freeze them. And then just let them thaw out in the fridge at some time and, you know, microwave to heat up. Um, and then with the turkey, well, for example, I've got this turkey here that I made a couple weeks ago. And I divided it up like I'm gonna do with this stuff. Put in a little tiny bit of tomato sauce just because it seemed a little dry to me. Actually, it turns out that when you reheat it in the microwave, that it sort of juices up again. So, um, oh, hi, Sophie. Hi, Kathy. I see that y'all are watching. Um, if y'all say something and you're watching, then I'll see that you're here because it doesn't always tell me who's here. Hey, Sandy. So, anyway, because I, I don't like to cook because... I don't like to have to do certain things every day. And since you gotta eat, you know, you would have to cook every day, right? But, you know, my idea of how to do this is you prepare a whole bunch of food in one day, uh, actually in just, this is gonna take maybe an hour altogether, and I will have a bunch of different meals, and you know, like with the ground turkey, um, oh, there's something in my teeth. What was I just eating? Oh, I was eating sesame seeds. I have, I take a little, like maybe a teaspoon of sesame seeds um, when I want to have something sort of nutty and, you know, it just tastes good, takes care of that craving so I don't have to be popping a bunch of nuts in my mouth. Well, anyway, so if you see a sesame seed running around in my teeth, you know why. Anyhow, so... Um, I have all these things in the freezer, and I only have to cook maybe once every eh, two to three weeks, or sometimes even once a month, um, because then I do it all at one time. I do the cleanup all at one time. You know, I don't have dirty pots and pans and all that sort of stuff every day or every couple of days. and. I mean, this works out great for me. And I sort of have, you know, everything's already measured out. So I know that I've got the right amounts of food and proportions and all that stuff. So um, I love doing it this way. Uh, you know, I'm cooking those mushrooms. I'm waiting around for them to get cooked. So why not be doing something else while I'm waiting for them, right? I mean, makes sense to me. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you about that because that is how I handle having a bunch of food 
ready, available. I know it's healthy. Um, I know what's in it. Um, like I said, it's weighed out to a, a right portion for me, so I won't be, you know, keeping on shoveling it in. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's real easy because you don't have all this preparation and cleanup and planning and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, I see. Okay, Sophie's saying she's on a 30-day um, high-protein plan. You know, I don't know what kind of plan you're on, but I will say this. A lot of people don't realize that a healthy diet really balances out your carbs and proteins um, because all nutrients are important for you. So, you know, I'm, I make sure to go at it in moderation and um, I've learned, you know, what are good combinations and all that. And no, I'm not on a weight loss plan either, but I do like to make sure that I'm eating healthy. And I've just gotten in the habit of doing it this way. Because when you get in the habit of doing things, then you don't have to be burdened with thinking it through all the time. It's, it just becomes second nature to eat healthy. Well, anyway, so I wish everybody uh, good luck on whatever they're doing. Hey, Robin. Hey, Carla. Um, if, I, if I missed you and you're watching, hey. And, uh, yeah, oh, Sophie says it's good to eat healthy. It makes you feel good, too. You know what? To me, that is the most important part. I feel great. And I am healthy. I feel healthy, and the doctor feels that I'm healthy. Okay, well, God bless you. i got to get the mushrooms out.